It's 3.46 a.m. People are sleeping, all right. I just got up, all right. I've been chilling with Echo, a.k.a. Okay, strawberry. Shout out to him. Much love to them. Love them. Today, uh, it looks like Keiki's hit me up. Keiki's Plays. Shout out to him. One of the mods on the channel, OG. One of the originators of the subathon on the channel. Today, we're messing with Camilla Cuevas uploading again. The camera's down in the right spot. They'll probably fix that later. Unless we're doing some, like, maybe captions on the left and the bottom. I don't know. Um, I saw some Twitter tweets. Um, I made a Twitter tweet myself. Bing a bing 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 it's come to a point where I'm like, I don't care what's said anymore. I'm kind of just done. It was at first where I was like, Camilla drops a video. We can solve all this. Just apologize for everything. You feel me? You can turn a new leaf, dog. And that junk never really happened. <laughs> um, and, I, you know, I'm seeing more evidence get out. And I'm, ex you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm reacting to, like, all the stuff I've been saying, the Twitter tweets and everything. Very monotone. Okay. Also, it's because people are sleeping. But it's also because I'm kind of like... I'm, I'm not saying the people coming out doesn't matter. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying my verdict on Camilla is already set. You feel me? I'm glad everyone's coming out and, you know, saying what happened and all that, you know, even up to now. And more people coming out. I'm, I'm, I love that. Um, but my lack of emotion is due to the fact that I already have my verdict on Camilla. You know what I'm saying? It's already set in stone. I really don't care. Uh, I'm just going to watch this to see what they say. Um, but just from the title alone, you can already tell sexual abuse. What the heck happened? Um, you can tell that they're obviously just not going to take accountability. Freak, why the heck did the freaking one song pop in my head when I said accountability? They take accountability or responsibility. What is it? Toxic gossip train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry be playing freaking parodies of that song, bro. There's actually parodies that exist. There's this one guy that made one that was really good, actually. But anyways... Let's look. At the, let's go. Let's look. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to do this in one take and one take only. I don't care. I'm just gonna record it, upload it, and call it done. Um, first of all, I'll answer the question: Why didn't you do this before? Because of two reasons. One, I was having the worst time in my life. Then. Okay, new video idea. Let's see how long we can go through this. Try not to laugh? What the freak is wrong with me for thinking that? <laughs> Sorry. It's because she said the same thing she said already. <laughs> I thought of a Twitter post that was like, she's just repeating the same thing. Guys, don't look to this video to give you information. If you want to look for a video for that, look for one of my past videos on the situation. Um, or look to someone else who has made a you know report about this stuff on YouTube. Um, don't look for this video for that. I'm telling you right now, I'm I'm sorry. I'm actually not gonna be able to take this serious. I don't think I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna see how long I can last. Uh, but I'm probably just gonna leave it up to be, to be honest. Probably hopeless peaches to report on it or someone else or crystal flame or someone else. You know, I'm I'm probably not gonna report on this one, buddy. <laughs> Stop, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. Chill, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Let's see what they gotta say because they could say something that will change my mind. You know, but I don't. You know, like the loss of loved ones and I wasn't in a good mental state to talk to yes, anybody I know. and by the way just for people that haven't watched my recap or anything on this you know it, it does suk, it, suk freak me it does suck to lose a loved one and you know all that stuff um, but you know they're doing that to validate uh, what the heck happened you know which was going on for a very, 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 very long time this reminds me of one of those creators that will use one one simple excuse to you know, go by years of time or months of time, um, you know, for, for whatever the heck happened or for their lack of whatever, you know. They'll just use one bad occurrence and be like, it's because of this happening that I didn't do anything at all and never even opened my phone at one time to check what was going on, which is freaking capo, bruh. You've been looking at, you are probably looking at your phone, you know what I'm saying, all, every freaking day since, since whatever happened. You did not toss your phone outside, my boy. There's no freaking way. People don't do that, dog. Looked at it Think one day. I went to the hospital, got depression, meds, whatever. You don't really care about that. But second and most important, she knows her audience. Wasn't in the mood to All right, talk. let me. Serious though, serious dog. She's mad right here, by the way. The mentally ill people on I Twitter. Think. If they I decide think. to take things from Twitter to video form, even more of a reason to not do so. That's why. Um, I've been holding this in for over three years now. Also, she should know as a creator, if you have a video that comes out where you were depressed or something, that junk's doing good. Not too many people, well, people may meme it, but like, for the most part, you know what I'm saying? It, it does pretty good. Unless it's something where you're just like, something bad happened and you're using that as an excuse. 
and you ignore everything else and don't about apologize. Myself, about my mental health first. These backstabbing snakes making video at the time, some of them knowing that I was mourning, still decided to throw the punch. And one of them even went as far as to blatantly lie, bringing up something nothing to do with this issue. But I'll get to that later when I'm done addressing this. Okay. W script. What I'm thinking right now in my mind is, dang, that subathon really just made my pure thoughts be coming out, dog. <sighs> like I said, once again, disclaimer, you know what I'm saying? Everyone that's was in the situation, you know, has been harmed and whatnot. Don't take my approach to this topic, you know, to be uh, disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah, we've went over this many times. That's why I'm like this. You know what I'm saying? Heart goes out to you guys um, that were victims of this and stuff. I mean, but look who we're looking at right now. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to let it fly, dog. I forgot where I was going with that train of thought, but you get what I'm saying? I'm not editing this video. It's my off day. <laughs> I figure neither, neither me or my audience cares about a Twitter post, really. What it has to say about me without any insight. They definitely care a lot. You had a lot of people leave. They definitely care a lot. I, you're, I think your streams are at, like, my count. You have, like, 15 viewers maximum in your streams now. What you're doing, drawing? No, because drawing streams actually do good if you talk to your audience. Um, but you're at my count, and, I, and, I, and, and that's pretty freaking low basing their opinion on some so they definitely care also the amount of evidence has came out gosh dang it's insane random post someone talking about sexual abuse or grooming with my name on it taking it at face value okay so right now she's saying you saw my name in that discord tweet well that actually was forged <laughs> which hey it could be but uh at this point dog you obviously did something i'm sorry this is a multitude of evidence it's like you obviously did something. And then let me be a little serious right now. Dead honest, bro. To be dead honest with you, bro. All you had to do was apologize way back when. Like, you said you knew, like, Veer did what he did and all that. And you lied, yada, yada. Just apologize, dog, and leave it at that, bro. Like, gosh, dang. Just be like, all right, this one is a reach. That's not real, right? Blah, blah, blah. These other ones, no, I really did do that. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, that's all you got to say, bro. But they're thinking, I have one million something subscribers. I have a famous series on Glitch Tales, or called Glitch Tale. I can't let this go downhill. I need the money. I need it. You know, that's what they're thinking. So it kind of, like, brings simple thought out the window. Some of you also say talking about it just makes, uh, just brings more awareness to it. Well, guys, sorry, but this has reached a point where I sadly have to step down to the level of these cockroaches and consider taking legal action for how ridiculous and outrageous the accusations have been. I'll be honest, taking legal action seems to be the most mature thing to do. I don't think that's stepping down at all, by the way. Uh, if, you know, this stuff really was fake, which it most definitely is not hard pill to swallow for some of you here being under 18 15 14 whatever doesn't give you the right to be disgusting sexual and inappropriate around people and then blaming the adult next to you for not stopping you i'm not your babysitter much less your damn parents if you didn't learn what was the weight of your words well too bad don't pin it on me it you know what's funny a lot of people more than i would actually notice that would like tag team up on a creator when they're going downhill a lot of these people are actually grown because a lot of these people were victims themselves so they're like 18 and up and i know that because like i know some people from the community right and they're all they're all pretty grown at this point so it's not even little cockroaches like she's saying like a uh, 14 13 blah, 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 you know what i'm saying it's actually a lot of the majority is people that have grown up and grown past it and has witnessed some of the things that actually happened in that server which is insane me saying this and then camille looking like this like i'm their principal talking down to them right now um but yeah i mean a lot of them are actually older but majority of an audience will be younger audience uh, but the ones actually attacking mm, can you call it attacking i mean they're kind of going at camilla and going to lie for what they do um so the people really going at uh, camilla are actually pretty 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 on the older side it may sound to me a bit aggressive but i'm livid I'm defending myself from what I've seen. It's become socially acceptable to punch up just because someone has a big following. People that want to drag me down, punch up? maybe do so because they think they're below me. So let's start. Okay. Uh, let's say we have. So, so it's like I just said, they have a one million and they don't want to go down. Camilla's acknowledged that they're that big up there, and they think that people are looking up to them and punching them. 
Okay. Someone on social media and thinks, how can I make people listen to what I have to say? Oh, yeah, this person said the word X that one time that... I did give you all the disclaimer sexual. that this is not going to be a breakdown video or report video. I'm literally just going to be yapping, dog. So, because otherwise no one will care, I just want to say right? that again for uh, anyone who skipped past the video a little bit. That make people look at it and say, wow, really? Grooming, sexual assault, sexual abuse... For those people using these words loosely and so lightly, you are the reason these words lose their value every day and it takes away from people that have actually legitimately suffered from it in real life. I'm not editing this video, but right now I'd be staring into Camilla's eyes saying, huh? <laughs> what? The evidence I saw seemed like it was valid enough to say that. I'm, I'm just going to say it, Camilla. Camilla, I don't know what comments you're looking at or what tweets you're looking at, uh, but I don't know if you're looking at the same ones I saw because that looks pretty gosh dang darning. Which I can give testimony to. That is one of the worst feelings. I've experienced it myself when I was like about 10 years old, when a disgusting man stood behind me and started touching my body when I was alone playing nearby my house. Once again, you know, I've reacted to all this information before. She's just saying the same thing. So if you're like, oh my god, Divine Lee did not think that was insane for them to witness. He didn't react. He doesn't even care about Camilla at all, to the very least. I've heard it before, y'all. So, like, I'm already, like, you know, like, I've heard it um, from Camilla before, right? Like, she's on repeat right now. She's got the voicemail playing. Thank God that person's behind bars now. Rightfully so. But not everyone yeah, has yeah, the same nice. luck. There are women, men, and children. You gosh dang right. You gosh dang right. Now everybody does have the same look. And it's a gosh dang same that Camilla's not speaking up right now. I like suffering from this kind of assault every day. But instead, a lot of you choose to go for the low hanging fruit that is picking a well known name like myself. Take the opportunity that everyone is in the bandwagon of Camilla Bad. Get some Discord screenshots and use it to plaster it all over some thread on Twitter to ruin the life and reputation for no other reason that you needed attention or you feel you were wronged and wanted to be heard at all costs it's wild they're saying this like they're getting jumped usually this is what the person says that it's low 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 you know what i'm saying like not that popular they can get an audience with a more popular audience to go at them right but i from what i know camilla was the one that was all the way high up at the top but there was so much gosh dang evidence at them that it actually shifted and made them at the bottom like isn't that insane bro you gotta think the evidence has to be insane for that to happen right so so it's 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 wild that this was even able to happen in the first place. This is why everyone's applauding stuff. This is why Crystal Flame was so excited that, you know, when they spoke out it actually worked because to take someone that is that high up, you need some insane evidence, you feel me? But now Camilla really feels like they're at the bottom just a punching bag. That's how effective the evidence has been. So let's see the and now, yes, they probably can get hit by anybody. They probably can get hit by people saying that they were taken advantage of or or groomed by camilla that probably can slide now because so many people have actual evidence that stuff did happen so other people are going to come in and do stuff as well that probably didn't actually happen and people are just going to believe it because that's just how it is that's just like when there's someone on your street that that's your neighbor that has done something malicious and you know neighborhood watch lets you know that they did that everyone's going to think if someone comes up and said they did something to them they're going to believe them that's just how it works bro that's when you do something bad you reap the reper repercussions that come to it. You, what you need to do, well, this is the last time I'm, that's probably not the last time I'm going to say, but apologize and move on, bruh. There's nothing you can do. Just say if it's real or fake, yes or no. That's what you guys have to believe me. That's all you can do at this point, now that I've messed up, and move on. There's nothing else you can really do. The damn threat everyone's giving so many likes to. We start. <clears throat> oh, freak. Oh, freak, they actually pulling up the Twitter. <laughs> Dang, that junk did get 1.4 million views, bruh. No, yeah, I did. Um, I looked at this one, too. I saw this one. When I saw this, I was like, once again, shout out to everyone who's, you know, saying what happened to them and stuff. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I love that. That's good. I'm glad you're letting it be known. But it was at this point where I made the tweet that I showed you guys earlier where I was like, I want everyone to know now, 100%, it's been known this. When Even back when it was Jael and Nyx, that we was like, hold up, did they do something too? Did something wild happen with them? 
when it was that point where we had to move on to Nix and Jayo. I say we had to move on to them. We, I don't know, bad wording. But like, we we moved on to them because some, some questionable things were happening. We were already like, okay, yeah, Camilla's done. Like at that point, it was like, okay, Camilla's done. Like, wasn't even, wasn't even a question anymore. And then now this comes out, just let you, just let you guys know, it's not a question anymore. It's 100% guaranteed. Camilla, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, you feel me? Attention here to the ward, to the, the first line. Camila Cueva sexually abused me. I'll be My dead name. laughing if she actually admits that the screenshots were real. Aimed there first. Uh, she has gone to every link to the night, this, as well as deny all the actions of her defending predators. I was the mother of a server. We want to once again talk about my experience. Who the heck is in the background over there? Is that, what is that? Who just moved on the bed? I'm not, I, of course, I'm denying all the accusations as if it was a bad thing. Of course I'm gonna. Is that like a hype man back there? They're like giving them courage to go through with this? I don't know if, okay. Denied, I didn't do crap to you ever. If anything, okay. I consider you a friend. And if you remember. How many friends do you have that you don't talk to, dog? How many friends do you have? Where he fails you when he She says this to everyone. She's considered them a friend. And she's been betrayed. Realized my inaction in the past regarding the Veer situation. And I went personally to you and apologized to you for... Why did you apologize to them if you did nothing to them? Having taken so long to do something. Okay. Now, here. I guess for the things Veer did. Uh, ba ba ba. Well, at this point, Camilla just admitted that they realized what Veer did and then doing okay. Verify during this time I was 12, 13, been exposed to an FC field content, as well as normalized behavior within the server. Would often react to things sexually in a, sh in a way of chalk humor, usually in reaction to Camilla posting art animation progress. You mentioned being 12, 13 uh, years old, being exposed to NSFW. Not by me, by whatever source you say you had. I had no idea how old you were, by the way, at the time. If you said it in chat, I pay no mind to it. Uh, asking someone's age isn't in my list. Wasn't in my list five years ago. Or so. Uh, didn't mind. Wait, so. To me. All I wanted was to share my art in the server. Nothing more. Oh, so that's all you did. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I thought you was about to say. How old they were didn't matter to me. I was going to post what I wanted to anyways. And talk about whatever I wanted to. I was gonna ask their age, and I was like, whoa, hold on now. Nothing less. I don't know who showed you that, uh, but that's because you normalized it. You talking about your, hu your huge pee pee and, and how it destroyed galaxies for how excited you were about the animation I made. Uh, you said it yourself, you did it for shock humor. Sorry, y'all, I had a burp. That's what that face was, my bad. And it worked. It was funny. Everyone laughed. Uh, I'm a sexual, so I don't think nothing more of a pee pee joke uh, more than ha funny. And before you start misinterpreting me again, no, I'm not using sexuality as an excuse or anything. I'm simply pointing out that's why I didn't really care how you express your enjoyment, as it didn't have any other connotation to me other than, wow, you were seemingly enjoying yourself, very excited. And here's where your BS starts, okay? Let's go to this All right, here we go. The screenshot here. Camilla stated on numerous occasions that she enjoyed this and will continually encourage this behavior of talking about her art sexually, playing into it herself. In this screenshot, she talks about making the people in her chat, and in, in her chat uh, consisting of minors for No Not November. Uh, hey guys, that's me, whoever. Oh, they acknowledged it. You're gonna fail and, and, and. This wasn't out of the blue. Um, no, like, I, I didn't say your your thing was throbbing every day and you yourself making jokes about it all the month and I said that since you were apparently also joking about it. Thought a little harmless irony wouldn't really, you know, traumatize you in some way. <laughs> Wait, hold on. did she just admit that she actually said that? I'm about to cry. What the heck? What happened? <laughs> Wait. She. And oh. I said, 
since you were a person, you yourself making jokes about it all the month, and I said that since. No, yeah, my junk is working, dog. It's 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 working. I heard what I heard. I saw what I saw. Okay. Since you were apparently also joking about it, thought a little harmless irony wouldn't really, you know, dramatize you in some way. Um, it gets it's funnier just, it's, though. It's just weird though. Is the is the point? It's just weird. Like like you 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 just saw that and you just it's it's just irresponsible adult, you know. That's all it is, I guess. I don't know. Just unaware, doesn't care. Next is screenshot. Here is a little example where I reacted sexually to a drawing Camilla made talking very explicitly and Camilla encourages it. Think it makes her happy when I talk this way. But let's see it, right? So first we start with you saying your pee pee is throbbing. Uh, someone reacting, oh my gosh saying that you're about to shred it holy mm, uh, what did i say what did i say in this screenshot low you say this is proof of me encouraging your sexual comments no i'm not are you blind as well how many times did you speak about your you're keeping that screenshot alone all i did was say low that's encouragement man am i oh my god she's actually admitting that this is her what the heck i thought she was Dude, like, all right, first off, if you're, my adults rise up, okay? I'm 23, I'll take the adult role, all right? I'm sad I'm getting older, but it's happening, and, you know, I'll always be responsible anyways. If you see someone in your Discord channel talking, saying that, what do you do, guys? My adults. What do you do? And you're aware that some of your audience is kids. What do you do? That's right. You say... Excuse me, what the freak are you saying in my chat right now? What are you saying in Discord? Time them out. <laughs> Time them out. Time them out. Time them out. I don't want even my adults talking like this. Unless it's strictly an NSFW channel that says you should be 18 and up to get in this thing. I don't want anyone talking about their dingling. Shredding records, my boy. No. Never. I don't care how old you are. I tell this to anyone. You can ask anyone. If there's someone chatting in something where I'm aware that there are kids in that mother sucker, minors in that mother sucker, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Chill out. And if they don't, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Now, if it's my channel personally, and you know what's happening in chat, obviously, you're getting banned. I'm not leaving my own chat. You're getting banned. This is my domain. <laughs> Everyone in here is in my safety hands. And I will make sure everyone here is not having to worry about something like that in chat. So even if this kid did say that at that age, mother sucker, they're gone. But what does Camille do? LOL. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> Lady Red. <laughs> hey. Hello, <-E> boo. <laughs> Lady Red. Are you pointing a gun uh, at you? A freaking lol shaped gun for you to say crap like that? Piss off. Second screenshot. In it, bruv. Starts with me laughing because of something. Freak. Probably Whoa. because you were talking about your genitals again in 5,000 different ways prior to this reaction. I know. Like, Camilla seems very mad that this ever even happened. I don't blame them. This chunk's been going on for years. Rightfully so. Which, again, I just thought it was fine. So it sure is a big exaggeration for a bunch of lines that move. Then you spam all the keys you had in your keyboard, and that's that's really funny to me. Yeah, this is what it looks like to get caught up. Like this, is what it looks still looks like to get caught completely one hundred percent. And Camilla's admitting that this stuff actually was like was written too. Uh, if you guys want to see this Discord screenshot, you might have to just go to the Twitter tweet. I'm not gonna edit it in, but she'll read it out to us most likely. Um, I'm laughing because freaking. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was a funny big exaggeration for all that. After spamming all those keys, that made me happy. Seeing people lose their minds over some dumb dry drawing I made, because it seemed to me that it meant you liked it. I always mentioned how I love getting reactions out of people with my art, 
I particularly enjoyed the spam because this it out. was funny. Certainly funny that your pee pee jokes. That's what I'm replying to. That's what I'm saying. That it makes me happy. Okay? Now, also know that it's not only me reacting to that behavior. Freaking everyone that saw you speaking like that reacted the same damn way. As you said, shock humor. Are you saying they were all encouraging you to keep it up? If so, when does the threat drop for those people? I want to know. I can't be the only one, right? And, um... Wait, no. They don't have a channel with a, middle, with a million subs. They haven't been publicly humiliated That's Cardi before. trending in the so US. It makes, it makes more sen sense uh, if you single me out, Anyways. right? Let me freaking drink the water for this. Okay. Next one. And this right. is where I started to get angry with your warning. <laughs> She's in her Twitter mode right now, right? Like, we're actually looking at Twitter. Let me get some water for this. Let me continue. All right. Real quick, though. That's what it said. It said, oh, God, dark. Um, see? I wasn't expecting that. You win. This makes me happy. She just justified that and then admitted to it, too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did they intentionally not edit that to be on screen? All right, what? what was the timestamps on these, by the way? What was the time? Sorry, I did not want to break this down. I am so sorry. So this is November 20th, 6th. Oh, my God. My junk is throbbing. Um, um, so this is on the 6th of November. All right, I don't know how these date works, bro. I don't know how the dates work in freaking gosh dang mother sucking gosh dang discordia mother sucker. Okay. So it's the sequence of events, right? This is on the 19th of November, I believe. 2000, no, 2019, 3rd of November. <laughs> I'm gonna rage, I'm gonna rage. All right, anyways. 3rd of November, 2019, right? You're gonna fail, no, 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 no. This wasn't that long ago, to be honest, if we're going year-based. You're gonna fail, no, dang, I was 19 back then. All right, hold on. You're gonna fail, I was 18, because my birthday's on the 21st, so. There's a W leak of my birthday, if you guys want to realize that. Um, you're going to fail no November, on the 3rd of November, right? This is on the 6th. So, three days later, boom, they post that junk. And then Dark is like, and they're like, LOL. And then, it's on the 6th, yeah. And this was on the 3rd, so it's three days later. And then, oh god, dark. C. This makes me happy. When they say C, it almost makes it C like, like them saying C like you're gonna fail no November, November. And then three days later, they're like, C, told you you would. But, um, I don't think that's what it was. I think what this really was, me personally, from what I'm seeing from the screenshots, is they posted this, right? And it was like, lol. You know, not saying anything wrong with that statement. Um, and then they probably said something edgy, very edgy. And then Camilla's like, oh my god, Dark. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, Dark. Oh wait, no, because Dark is his name. Oh, my bad. Oh god, Dark, LMFAO. Yeah, so they're actually laughing at what Dark is doing right now. So this is a continuation. Um, then they say, see, I wasn't expecting that, you win. This makes me happy. And then they said, I wasn't expecting that you win like they won the bet to make them lose no net november you know what i'm saying but the three day span is what's questionable because there's no way there's talking about failing no net november for literally three days and then cammy's like this makes me happy Boy, what anyways though if camilla wants like camilla can throw any excuse if you see someone saying this in your chat you obviously act on it because that is very like vulgar and appalling to see in the chat no cap no cap no cap anyways let's move on sorry i didn't want to do a breakdown this time because it's really not needed but you know whatever there's a little mini segment i guess there's a lot of likes on this by the way but everyone basically just likes their favorite youtubers video around when they post it which re i guess respect to them but in this case you're blind well, let's see <clears throat> oh, so this was uploaded an hour ago from when we clicked on it. So that means 804 people would have had to watch it immediately when it uploaded. 
Someone else just liked it. Oh, camera. Someone would have to watch this immediately when it uploaded to actually give it a certified like, um, which I don't think a hundred people actually did that, but who knows? There was 6,000 views, so maybe. I say, Camila here talks about my genitals directly, which shows that she didn't just let this happen. She was an active participator. The other image also shows her encouraging this behavior further. All right, let's see. Um, we have, uh, that's not me, by the way, that's someone else talking yeah. about it. Weird emojis. And here's me saying, we got to make a book where we describe in detail all the amazing things Dark's PP has done from destroying a building to creating and destroying a universe. Now, wow, did you hear that? I said PP. Goddamn unforgivable. I can't believe I typed PP in front of a minor. <laughs> You're probably... No, 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 no. That's, that's not... Hold on, Camilla. That's not the point here. The point here is that you're addressing that you acknowledged what Dark's been saying. And you're saying, and you're almost like agging on the joke at this point. This is like um, someone that's trying to be like, oh, you know, oh, that's, that stuff is funny, I guess. Yeah. To get past an awkward moment. But the thing is, you're the leader here and you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff, even if that is your intention. But that could not be their intention. They could actually just be like, this is amusing to see. Traumatized <laughs> from it. I'm sorry about that comment. It's just that right before and after you were talking so much about your PP growing so big that it would destroy existence itself, I thought it was funny to mention it as a joke. All right. Next screenshot. Oh, uh, well, she thought it was funny to mention it as a joke. So she just admitted that she did try to egg on the joke there. And it wasn't like an awkward moment. She just, just thought I was going to egg on. Okay. Well, there goes my um, excuse I was going to give her. Um, oh, fudge. Uh, da, 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 da. Is, it, is it this one? This one? My, it might be that one. I'm not, I'm not sure. Now you got me lost. I was concerned. Uh, I was. I all this stupid. I, I, think, I think you was in the bottom left one, and then now you're on the right one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you're, you did that oh, one? Yeah. So it's the next one. one. That's the one, yeah. That's the one. Rehab. I'm responding, whatever, right? Not even talking to him. And here Dark goes. I must say, the nut I busted when I saw that scene today did remind me of Pearl Harbor back in the days. And I say, I'm glad you returned to your old self for a second there. It was a 10 out of 10. Now. <clears throat> I believe at this time you have stopped overreacting to what I posted. Uh, I missed the keyboard spam and to me, you know, uh, whatever you posted about your genitals was a weird way uh, to express enjoyment. Uh, that's what I meant when I said you were your old self. I could care less about your genital jokes. You could be juggling with three toasters every time I posted something. And I would say the same thing if you had suddenly stopped showing that. But no, you're cherry picked screenshot this and said how can I interpret this in a malicious way and went for it now there mm. can I interpret mm. Camilla's saying that let's give context okay it is like Camilla was like for a second like I liked when you weren't making those nut jokes in the in the in the in the in the, in the, the Johnson jokes I did like that it was a 10 out of 10 that also, I don't think it com completely dismisses the, the fact that you just let them stay in the server and continuously talk like that. I don't think it dismisses that. I guess I'm looking at this from more of an adult perspective. More of a perspective where... Uh, this isn't 2021? Holy freak. Because February 23rd, 2021? How long was, was, was they chatting? That's like three years, no? Am I reading these dates wrong? Anyways, though. Dang. <laughs> hold on. What the freak was I saying? No, 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 that's why. Okay, hold on. I'm getting back on track. Okay. I'm glad you turned your old self there. It was a 10 out of 10. Wait, if it's your old self, and this is years later, 
would it be their old self where they were talking about their genitalia a lot or were they talking about their genitalia for three years wait hold on i may be ca- i may be capping bro i may be overthinking it but if this is actually three years later right because it was 19 now it's two tw- it's 2019 now it's 2021 they're saying i'm glad you turned to your old self there for a second were they really talking about their genitalia for three years? And Camilla remembers three years back before they started talking about their genitalia. And they were like, I'm glad you turned to your old self there for a second where you didn't talk about your genitalia. I think it could also be on the other side where they talked about their genitalia like they just did. And they're like, I'm glad you turned to your old self. 10 out of 10. I think that could also be a thing. But also, if that was the thing, wouldn't it dark also include the screenshots of what the freak was just said? And then Cammy says that. All right. I don't know. Not sure about this one, but for a sure standpoint on what I was talking about earlier is I'm looking at this from an adult perspective as to where they shouldn't have been in the chat anyways, talking about that stuff. Camilla obviously was old at this point. I don't know how, how old, but they were old, bro, because I was 19 and 2019. I know dang well Camilla is older than me, dog. So they must have been in their 20s where I'm at right now. And I would know that you shouldn't be letting people just talk like that randomly, especially if you know majority of your audience is children. They shouldn't be talking about that in Discord, bro. This in the malicious way and went for it. Now there are two next screenshots talking about whatever, but let's see. What's one? That's two. Oh, would you look at that? Where am I in here? There's nothing, there's no me. There's so person. I didn't see person. this. I didn't see these screenshots. I saw those the one up to not the 10 out of 10, but the one before the 10 out of 10, I saw those, and I was just like, I'm done reading. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already on, like, GG. It's GG for Camilla. Some other person, doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, you meant that, like, I was there reading that and didn't step in? Sorry, I hadn't noticed the guy that thinks genitals are funny a bazillion different times a day. Had an issue with other people responding the same way. Especially when you voiced so much your concern, your concern about it right sorry sorry i couldn't buy the crystal ball to beat your mind uh, a year or so in the future when this eventually made me uncomfortable made you uncomfortable looking back at it the next the next uh, couple of screenshots are the um, the already issue uh yeah she had a server with nsf dolly about betty i thought it was just a f- uh, fan club at first but then when I was told there was NSFW in it I bought it out I got no interest in, uh, interest in seeing seemingly children drawn in a sexual way um, now you comment uh, that me and the other two groomers mentioned here made fun of you you say invited you she invited you to a server blah 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 uh, Quick reminder, I'm not breaking down and reporting what happened here. I'm just yapping. Just a reminder once again, guys. Uh, me, Vir, and Candy were all made aware of this and used it as an opportunity to make fun of me in the chat. Let's see. Uh, so I said the first screenshot. What? Uh, for real? And why? I believe this is me replying to what Candy's saying. I wasn't even directing my words to you. Send a screenshot. Blah, not me. Ew. Not me, not me. I saw the guy's name. Sorry. Blah, not me either. Lamau. There. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so... 10.56, Same date. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, actually, like, looking at the stuff like I would, you know, if I was reporting on it. Um... Betty Simp now. What? For real? Why? Why do you like Betty? I wasn't even directing my words to you. Sank a screenshot. How often do you to Betty? Uh. Darkest Bane's foes. LMAO. Okay. So, what were you doing here? I want to actually want to hear what Camilla's doing here because they're obviously continuing to laugh. There's no different de- text in this gosh dang sequence. For Camilla to be consistently responding to like this. They're saying what? It's the truth. For real? Yes. Me replying to what Candy's saying? I wasn't even directing my words to you. Sank a screenshot. Calcium. The same person. 
and calcium also talking about dark has been exposed and you are still laughing how are you not talking to calcium right here what phantom are you talking to right now what ghost are you talking to blah not me not me not me oh not me either lamau in response to candy's exaggerated way to say exposed and i assume you're saying ah dang was meant to be funny Headset here. You, you see it? Is it is it showing? Hopefully not, because I'm not editing this, and it, that probably looks insane. My hair looks insane in general, actually. All right, see you guys. Gosh dang. What the freak, bro? Yo, here, curly hair when you wake up, dog. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everyone that's got curly hair, you know how it feels, dog. You know what's going on. In You're this in whole loop. interaction, I didn't even talk to you. You blind oaf. What the actual hell do you mean I'm making fun of you? Stop putting me in the back with all- Oh, they said they was making fun of them? That's not how I took these screenshots. I took the screenshots as, um... Someone said Dark was, uh, doing their thing to Betty. And, um... Which is Vera right here. Of course it's them. How often do you Joe to Betty? And then Dark's like, dang, bruh. Dang. And um, Dark has been exposed, blah, blah, blah. And then they're just laughing like, you know what I'm saying? Like, LOL, dude's doing it to Betty. That's freaking hilarious. Ha, ha, ha. That's, that's what's happening, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if that's too much of, like... Because Dark obviously was bringing this up themselves, right? Betty Simp? Yeah, they're, like, obviously bringing it up to, like, themselves. I don't know. If, if that's, like... If I, if I was going in a chat and I was, like, guys... I love Kafka so much, and I just adore them. I sim for them so hard. I expect people to say that. I don't feel like it's bullying at that point. Is is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Maybe it is actually. Maybe that is bullying. Maybe it's because I expect it to have a negative result. Me saying that that I feel like it's not bullying it because you just opened them up to it. But that's kind of like saying you're a furry, and then people are degrade you because of it. Even though you know you might get negative, so I guess that is bullying in a sense. Even as weird as the context is in this in this sentence, I guess it kind of is. But I wouldn't put. I guess it's just how much you care about the concept. I guess of what's being talked about, right? If it's someone opening up to being a furry, it's more deeper than it is to someone being like, "I love Kafka, I'd suck their toes." You feel me? Sorry, I'm thinking about Kafka again. My bad. My bad. This isn't the video for that at all. Um, sorry, just a stray thought. Dang, I like Honkai Star Relic. This is a fire freaking game. Okay, hold on. Lock it back in. When I'm editing this video. I'm just, yeah, I told y'all I was yapping. I warned you, okay? This isn't going to be prof too professional. I'm not going to lie. What was this thing? Oh, yeah. I guess it kind of is in a way, huh? Not me either. Lamau. In response to Kendi's exaggerated. Although, let's be honest, we shouldn't have been getting this far. Kimula should have been out of this chat at this point, obviously, already. Like, what the freak, bro? And if it's in their server, damn, but that's something that happens. It's so. to say exposed, and I assume you're saying, ah, dang, was meant to be funny. In this whole interaction, I didn't even talk to you. You blind oaf. What the actual hell do you mean? You don't have to talk to someone to react to something, bro. This obviously looked like a reaction throughout it all. That you could just be la like, this is what happens when you laugh at someone, you know what I'm saying? When someone, something funny has happened to them, you just laugh at them. You're not like, hey man, say hello to me real quick. All right, what's good? I'm laughing at you. That was funny. And they're like, oh, dang. It's more like you're laughing at them with someone next to you, you know what I'm saying? Which essentially is what happens in the majority of situations when something embarrassing happens to someone. You're not talking to that person. You're just laughing at them from afar like, haha, sucks to be you. What's funny is when you're in school and you laugh at someone who got roasted. See, I told you I'm going off topic. I told you I was going to do this. But anyways, just a relate, related, related moment. Y'all ever like laugh at someone that was getting roasted? Obviously in a playful way, like, you know what I'm saying? But doing bars at school or rapping or whatever. And then they're like, what you laughing for? And then they start roasting you. But anyways, yeah, that's just a... Why did I go off into that thinking? I don't know, guys. My brain moves everywhere in the morning. I apologize. Let's get back what, into can it. What saying? I wasn't even directing my words to you. 
It's gonna be a long video because I'm yapping so much. Blah, not me, not me, not me. Oh, Anyways, no. my point was it doesn't matter if they're talking to them or not. You can still laugh at someone from the sidelines. It's either. Which is what it looks Lamau. like, if I'm being honest. In response to Candy's exaggerated way to say exposed and. And me f figuring out these things that this is what it looks like is happening just from looking at the screenshots. And then Camilla also saying, yeah, I wrote that. It makes it seem like, okay, well, GG. I, I assume you're saying, ah, dang, was meant to be funny. In this whole interaction, I didn't even talk to you. You blind oaf. What the actual hell do you mean I'm making fun of you? Stop putting me in the back with all others, first of all. Just because you want to shift focus to me. So that your claims can somehow convince people with room temperature IQ that is true. So if someone beats someone up and you laugh at that person that got beat up, you're not also participating in the bullying? Or do you have to physically beat that person up and then you're doing all the bullying and everyone who just laughs is just a bystander like the person who got kicked and beat up can just walk up and be like to the person that laughed at them like hey you want to go chill later and they're like yeah it was funny you got freaking beat up you know what i'm saying but let's go chill out you know what i'm saying like like that, that, that doesn't happen because if you're laughing at someone's despair you're also partici participating in that bullying it builds up the effect right third screenshot i'm talking to skater it appears then asking why you're why does he simp for a dead child that's 07 october 20th it's just it's true then third this is third this is room this is 20 minutes later so this is acknowledgement of what happened and he's asking now or camilla's asking now i'm talking also i'm super excited betty plushies can me some uh to skater it appears then asking why you're simping over my pink oc then something something sentence is not even finished and i react surprised to something i pinged you at the end probably to tell you something i don't know fourth screenshot i don't even appear here the screen i this question from this screenshot looks like a genuine question uh there's not much more to say but this question is also acknowledgement that they were understanding what the freak just happened. Thank you. Because they acknowledge that why does he send for a dead child now? You know what I'm saying? Like they realize what was going on. Them saying why does he send for a dead child now? Did you want to talk to it about? Do you want to talk about it to Ari now? Did you actually some reason have all that span of dialogue and you really didn't notice as you was laughing? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do know it's 90% chance that, you know, this is, is what it is, what I think it is, which it's a hundred percent chance. Kimmel is just obviously just not, not freak. I don't Do I need to say it anymore? Like, do I really need to say it anymore? Back to my Twitter post dog. I don't really got to say it anymore. Camilla knows what's going on here and they're just letting this happen. And they're just letting people talk like that. As simple as Why that. you're simping over this junk's better make me mad at this point. My pink OC then something something sentence is not even finished and i react surprised to something i pinged you at the end probably to tell you something i don't know fourth screenshot <sighs> i don't even appear here so again what the hell do you mean i'm making fun of you if anything i'm inclined amber's like 10. But Amber has none, and Betty is Amber. Wait, so is this Veer no? Is this Veer trying to say Betty is ten? What? Well, some underage talk is going on here. This was at eleven thirty-two. I mean, we know now that Camilla's seen these weird screenshots, right? Like, she's seen these texts. She's not just, like, sliding by. She's been um, aware of the conversation that has went over the span of... This was at 11 p.m. This was at 10.56. She's been present in this chat room for about almost an hour. Definitely 30 minutes. So again, what the hell do you mean? I'm making fun of you. 20 to 30. If anything, I'm inclined, I'm inclined to make fun of you now for trying to pin this on me. But I don't want to take away from the seriousness from the seriousness of the situation you want to present in this thread. 
So let's keep taking it seriously. What are you drinking, dog? You gotta. No. You said it was water. Um. <clears throat> Eleven away. Are you talking about us all grooming you, as in normalizing this kind of jokes? Already, and Vader and the others were doing it willingly. But hey, what a shocker! You talking about your peepee -pee destroying the Andromeda galaxy every day made me think it was normal too. I didn't know you were a 14 year old at the time, and I'm not your dad to tell you what to do or what to say. Okay, I think that's Camilla's true feelings coming out here. Um, they just want to say whatever they want to say on the internet. They don't care how old you are. If you're too young, your parents should have took you out of here is what they're saying, I think. That's what I can feel. That's the vibe I'm getting from Camilla right now. Now, I can feel Camilla clenching their fist if they're watching this right now. But that's literally what it seems like when you disregard the fact to see if any minors are in the chat or you disregard the fact to acknowledge that your audience is majority minors you know at the time and you just you just disregard all that completely and you're just like freak it bro like i'm just gonna say what i want to say do what i want to do it's my place it's my house which is fine and all but you got to give someone a warning that there should be no kids up in here you feel me it can be a creator and do 18 and up stuff or talk about 18 and up stuff but you either set a select channel to do it in where you say there's 18 and up only up in here or you give some type of warning because at that point you're putting something on the internet that anyone can literally watch anyone can literally see and there's no warning at all and what do kids do on the internet just browse click do whatever if it's a shiny picture they click it whatever takes their attention they just click that junk if they click that junk and it says you shouldn't be in here and they go in there dang 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 that's tragic that's tragic you can set up a mod team to make sure you like check to see if members and the certain thing are actually adults too but at that point yeah sure you can't do anything but you didn't do any of that you just did what you wanted said what you wanted and just let things roll and that was it like, that's a big issue here if when you heard that that man's Hold on, let's be real about it. That kid's C was throbbing, and you didn't care to ask anything about it and just laughed and continued laughing to this point and see Veer talking about those weird freaking jokes and continue to just laugh to this point, which maybe you didn't know there was a kid, but you didn't care, though, is the point. You see Veer making those jokes, whatever. Veer also said there was someone was standing up in there. Uh, they also said that, and you just did whatever. All this stuff accumulated. Enough said. That's, that's the issue. I just wanted to post my art with you, whoever wanted to see them. Yeah, they did not care for your safety at all as a child. I'm reading that right now, Lily. I see that. And that's it. Next image. I shipped you with Candy, someone she believed to be an adult. Because I think Camilla's got it messed up here. They think I'm looking at this junk as in, oh, if Camilla knew that they were a kid, it's an issue. No, I'm, I'm looking at this junk as you didn't, you never cared to moderate or see if someone was a kid in chat, knowing dang well majority of your audience are kids. Knowing that dang well. Actually, my statistics at the time said they were 18. Are you stupid? You know exactly what we did when we were young. We put our channel to 18 so we can watch whatever we want as a kid. <laughs> you know dang well what we did. So it doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist to realize that your audience on a YouTube platform where mostly kids are on YouTube is going to have mostly a YouTube audience. The junk is not rocket science. Tell me. Especially when they talk messing up many words many letters and they just got the gooberness in their gosh dang dialect you can tell that junk it's funny bro in all these screenshots from candy does she ever confirm her age not once did she say it not to me not to you certainly not in the chat for all i know she was freaking two children on a coat she never said how old she was at this day <sighs> i do not know how old she is and what did I tell you guys? I don't care about this. You you should have you should have asked this or done something, dude. If especially we see some weird stuff going on, but there's just no responsibility here. Um. So your attempt here at trying to paint me in the bad light as if I knew about it is dumb. I'm pretty sure you took part in the joke, as did everyone else in the chat. Once again, I don't care if Camilla knew about it or not. You should just know to check. You gonna make a thread about him too? Nah. Probably get some more attention using my name. Lastly, your other tweets. 
These people did not care for my safety as a child. Camille Cuevas normalized and encouraged me to make... Also, if, if Camille wants to go with the I didn't know you were a kid thing, they should just say what it is. He was obviously laughing at that stuff. He was obviously laughing at, at Lily there at Dark. He was obviously laughing. Just say, yeah, bro, I was laughing at that junk, but I'll be honest. I don't know what it was. For some reason, I thought they were an adult. That's on me. I apologize. What the heck, Devon Lee? Did you just apologize for Camilla? Did you just do what she should have done? I did. I did do that. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I'll be honest, y'all. I may be stupid. <laughs> I may be a gosh dang idiot. I'll be honest. I'm yapping. I told y'all I was going to yap. I may be an idiot. It's almost an hour long. I thought they was an adult. You got, I, like, I literally did. Like, I know majority of my audience are youngins, but I could have swore from the way they was talking. I thought they was an adult. I'm not going to cap. That's on me. I messed up. I'm not going to. Hey, put it on my face right now. Put it on my face, bro. I messed up. I messed up. Okay. <laughs> No, I don't think I was laughing at that. As you can see, I was obviously laughing something off a of screen, even though I continued to laugh and say for real question mark, and someone replied, and I was like, LMAO? I was laughing at something else they were talking about, for sure. And then that same person said something about the joke that they said I was laughing at, and I also replied to that and saying LMAO, but I, that, I was still laughing at something else they were saying. They weren't replying to what it seemed like they were replying to, or what they exactly said. Sexual comments made fun of me in situations where she should have intervened for my safety. And indulged commenting about my genitals. Yeah, Camilla ain't a hero like that dog. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't no guardian, bro. I normalized behavior. No. I didn't... <coughs> I almost choked. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I almost choked. This <coughs> oh, freak starts coming out my nose up here. Y'all probably saw that freak. <coughs> this part right here. When she. <coughs> when she realized that she messed up with what she just said. Adults commenting about my genitals. In for my safety. Comments. May child, can your <coughs> other tweets? Reply that junk. These people <coughs> did not care for my safety as a child. Camille Cuevas normalized and encouraged me to make sexual comments <coughs> and made fun of me in situations where she should have intervened for my safety and indulged commenting about my genitals. I normalized behavior. She realized she normalized behavior? No. I the long pause. No, hold on. I kind of did normalize that because I was laughing at it. But no, 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 no. That's <laughs> right there. It's right there. That's what she says, though. I could be wrong, but I think that's what she realized. I did laugh at that junk. I did kind of normalize it, huh? Things were always this way from the start. <laughs> then that means it's normalized, right? I didn't decide it to be that way. The lot of you said whatever you wanted in what I thought were a group of friends trying to be funny. I did not encourage you. Okay, so is this a group chat then? Is this a group chat where they got in it and they assumed everyone was of age? I did not make fun of you. I No, I didn't indulge to you to do- Is this not like a server? I thought this was a server. I'm not gonna lie. If it's a group chat, Maybe they could have snuck in and thought like everyone's an adult like at that if it's a group chat at that point You're not sure but also the simple thing to do in a group chat is to be like hold up. How old is everyone here dog? But maybe that's just something I do. Maybe I'm just the only responsible person on this planet I don't know obviously not considering people are covering this topic and they realize what the heck's going on, but yeah Crap. And she is 20 plus Lily said down there, which I I knew because I was 19 so uh, well, at this point, it's 2020, October 2020, so I was 20. They was like 20-something high. <laughs> All right. Now here. <clears throat> it's thinkably become abundantly clear to most people that Cammy defended groomers. There's hard evidence for that. But her actually being a sexual abuser herself hasn't been been... Reminder, I haven't seen any of these tweets on this point. Nothing about the hard evidence. Nothing about what we just saw. I told you guys when they cut off, I stopped looking at it. Well known. 
and it doesn't help that she refuses to even acknowledge it happening. No. You do acknowledge Veer though. I'll say that. But besides that, I don't even know if you acknowledged Artie. Did you acknowledge Artie? <coughs> Okay, so let's throw in the Cami defended groomers argument. People love that one. Uh, but no, I did not defend them. They tricked me into letting him stay for longer than he should have since he attempted suicide for what I did. Freaking everyone else accused of grooming. After that, I banned permanently, immediately, and after we confronted them. The screenshots aside, because uh, words are sheep. I think my actions prove quite the opposite. Did I act late? Yes. I've always said yes. And for that, I apologized. Even though mm. I did it all even though I did it all those years ago, uh you can go see it in my community post, it's still there. I take um Hold on, let me correct something. They said once they realized someone was doing in it, they kicked them. But it took him longer because they said they was going to commit suicide. They did kick them, but they also brought them back. And then I guess they did the suicide thing, and they were like, whoa. And then they were like, all right, kick, I guess. I take responsibility for not acting in time. Like I said, if you guys want to break down, there's a better uh, channel out there. I'm not reporting this. I'm not doing too much research. I already made my opinion on it, bro. So no, I did not defend groomers. Screw you and everyone else who is spamming it everywhere, every day. Now this, me being a sexual abuser, a sexual abuser, over these cherry-picked screenshots that have no proof of it in them, because Lord, you did try to find a single screenshot of me, of me mentioning your, you or other people's intimate parts, and there's none. You know why? Because I never did. We are more, what am I going to title this video? Okay. Right now. Next, me here. Um, Camilla's still going. Camilla's still yapping. In recent Twitter posts, you've two comments. Uh, Camilla has lied about the situation, saying she had no involvement and was abused herself. For one, she was 20 plus years old for all of it, and as shown in this thread, she very blatantly indulged in sexual abuse. Oh my gosh. So. Me lying about my involvement in your sexual behavior, once again, <coughs> I'm not your damn babysitter. Pretty sure you have a brain and free will of your own to go out there and say and do whatever you want. You said you refused to acknowledge it? Well, here I am, telling you and telling everyone spreading this idea, your, this idea. you're wrong. You're doing it maliciously just to get on the bandwagon. Next tweet. The bandwagon. She's taken ownership of how she's been banning people nonstop on Twitter that have said something about them. She's acknowledged that she's doing that junk. You're on the bandwagon. Um. A wagon of people that they've banned, by the way, those that don't know. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, yeah. Me lying about being abused? Man, it's like smells like this. Yes, man. I was. I know. I know not you and other bunch of people hate me for saying it, but yes, I freaking was. Both in real life and online. I was also groomed since I was 16. I was deeply rooted in my mind. Uh, I never questioned it. I assumed everyone expressed themselves differently. Uh, <coughs> not because I'm about 20, uh, it means I cannot get abused or manipulated. This isn't exclusively to people under 18. It doesn't minimize the trauma and struggle. Other adults who don't have the characters to stand up for themselves go through because just because they're adults. And as demonstrated in this thread of yours, there's absolutely no proof of what you claim. You saying it's, it's true doesn't mean crap. Now this last tweet is the sherry on top of the circus you built. <clears throat> I don't know if this post has been... Uh, I don't know if I'll keep this post up, but the fact that she's able to post lies and so many people will believe it make me feel terrified let's focus on that eh? she able to post lies and so many people believe it it makes me terrified same to you you hypocritic clown 
Imagine accusing someone of something as <laughs> Camilla, Camilla going at it, dog. I ain't got much to say right now. I'm sorry. They going at it right now. As sexual abuse. Let me say it again, okay? Sexual abuse. Posting this dumb fire of an attempt at getting attention. Or maybe you just wanted to punch something or someone for the things that happened to you. Well, sorry, man. I'm not going to participate in your show. And it won't be yours or anyone else's punching back. If she ends this video by blocking them, that'd be so cool. Acknowledge your own behavior. We all learn <coughs> and change our ways. I'm glad you stopped being weird saying stuff like that for shock humor, but I'm not going to stay silent this time. I'm still recovering mentally from, from my own issues, but this is getting out of hand. Who the heck punched that hole in the wall over there? Who the heck was that? Oh. Looks like something flew through it. There you go. Freaking congratulations. You got the attention you wanted. Freaking what? Let's see. 23k likes on Twitter. 1.4 million impressions. That's 1.4 million people have seen this. There you go. Congratulations. You know, slightly over a million saw this post. Well done, man. You did it. Enjoy the pity party you made for yourself. Enjoy all the, I'm sorry Cammy did this to you. Cam Dang. Camilla said, bruh. Hey, yo, freak being civil about this. I'm fighting back, bruh. I'm talking smack back. Enjoy your pity party. I don't give a freak, dog. Keep talking dirt on my name. That's what she doing right now, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. She's so toxic. Can't wait to see all the other threats on the abusers, though. Still waiting on those to this day. But not using my name this time, okay? Now, going past this dumb thread, I want to say something. Never once have I declined the fact that I took long to act on this, okay? I legitimately have no idea when I see some idiot go like, oh, take accountability, it's not hard to say you're wrong, my brother. I did all that four times in public, but it was so my brother, goddamn my brother. depressing to me. Every time I posted my genuine feelings, trying to shed light on why my judgment was clouded, because this person I thought that was my friend uh, threatened me with suicide if I didn't allow them to stay in this channel. I felt a gut-wrenching gut <coughs> anguish I do not wish upon anybody. This is not me victimizing myself. Not in the way the lot of you choose to interpret it as. I, I don't want to be, like, dark or anything. Or, like, like I don't care. Um, but if I got a friend, straight up dog, and I see there's evidence of them doing some grooming stuff, and they're like, if you kick me, I'm going to kill myself. I'm still going to kick them, dog. I ain't going to lie. And I'm not going to laugh at that like it's a joke because it's not. I actually will kick them, bro. I don't care, bro. I ain't with all that. I ain't with it, bro. I ain't with all that, bro. Don't give me no threats about you going to kill yourself if I do something, bro. If I got proof of you grooming and you say you're going to kill yourself if I kick you, I don't give a freak who you are. This is for the betterment of humanity itself. Goodbye. I'm kicking you. Whatever you do, that's on you, bruh. No cap. I don't give a freak, bruh. And it always be like that. I was this person's first victim. All the money since, since I got a brain out for a decade and consistently asking me for noon for nudes ever since I was fifteen. I'm but I'm different, I guess. Fact, I don't know. Not for pity. Just to explain my my train of thought at the time. If I care about them that much, I'll have tears in my eyes while I kick them from the server. But I'm a kick them. You feel me? I am not excusing them, myself by saying that. Simply shedding light on why I ended up doing the wrong decisions at the time and why it took so long to make it right. Mm, Let okay. me repeat it louder since a lot of you seem to be deaf on top of being blind. I am not using it as an excuse. I took long to act, yes. And it was because when all this was happening, I was also at my lowest I've been in my life. I watched the person I, con I considered and loved as a father slowly die from cancer before my own eyes, taking turns every, every other night with my mom to stay awake and be there for him. 
I'm sorry I couldn't reply to your videos and posts at the time. I had something much, much more important to me to attend to than your nothing burgers. Huh? And that's another <clears throat> thing. You know all these people that made the videos at the time? You know, they are all in the same private Discord server of their own, where they gang together to make videos on someone specific and agree with each other to make them all at the same time. Yeah, it's called a business, dog. That's called a business, bro. That's called a business, and they do that to people who they think, first off, deserve it, and second off, who get views. So, is it weird? Yeah, it's kind of weird. But do they make sure the person actually deserves it? Most likely, yes. Because if they didn't, and they make a wrong accusation, then their channel plummets, and their credibility falls. Tremendously. So, although I see your point, Camilla, as you look at me, um, do understand that these channels for their own sustainability will make sure that it is factual evidence they are throwing uh, because if their credibility falls their channel plummets immense tremendously because all they are is a channel to report on things like that respectfully from what i know and release them in a certain schedule they'll yeah. go to any lengths to get what they want they'll threaten to dox people to threaten their families all for mm. some testimony out of extortion to add in their miserable videos. Oh, so fake testimony is what I'm hearing. Okay, all right. Well, that's interesting. And no, I'm not talking about them doxing the offenders. By all means, uh, fill out police reports all you want. Get them behind bars, hopefully. But when you do it to people that was merely a witness or didn't involve directly themselves with it, I think that's a bit questionable. Maybe even mm. a bit illegal in my opinion. Mm. But that's not neither here nor there. Mm. I just want to say, to mm. all of you who made videos about this, first Oh, she's reading again. First of all, you're all scumbags. Here's something for my own satisfaction. I did not, and I will not, watch any of the videos you made, and will probably make about me. Because I needed a bunch of clickbaiting idiots to tell me what I did. So screw you all. Okay, good. Alright, so, because she's not going to watch our video, hopefully this doesn't get taken down, guys. My camera's going to die any second. Freak, it died. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Give me a second, guys. I, I don't want to edit this, okay? Can you just hang out with me, okay? Hold on. I'm swapping the battery right now. Um, but what I was saying was, <clears throat> she said she's not going to watch these videos. So this video should still be up. It shouldn't get taken down, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, she might look at her copyright matches and, and this will pop up. Um, that's gonna suck if she just automatically takes it down, but hopefully she doesn't, alright? Hopefully she doesn't, so you guys can see what I gotta say about it, you know? <sighs> alright, almost done. We'll continue, okay? Thank you. I feel like I'm in a live stream right now. What would you guys be saying in chat right now? Um, what? In denial. Dude, she's done. It's cooked. GG. And then a lot of you guys would be making like long text about your thoughts on the situation. Definitely. I couldn't really think. My, my scope doesn't go that far of what you guys would do. I'm sorry. But I know you'd be doing something like that. Uh, there's going to be that one chatter though that's like, can we play Roblox now? <laughs> there's going to be that one chatter that says that. What do you think about this new Roblox game you haven't heard of? There'd be one like that, too. Who else? Who else? Who else would be in there? Fabo would be saying for real, for real, probably. Keys would probably be giving me another video to react to after this. Starting to learn my audience, man. Low y'all, bruh. Low y'all, bruh. Alright, here we go. And... All right, let's get it. Let's finish this, man. You're literally making a, li a living out of making videos like this and take advantage when there's a fuzz about topics like that. To all of you watching, whether you despise me or are neutral or are here because of my content. Also, the video, or the, once again, to go back to the people she's talking about that make videos on just, like, YouTubers' downfalls and stuff and, like, how they've done some wild things. To go off on that, too, um... Camilla understand this and everyone else that isn't really aware of it. Um, people that understand this, which is a lot of people, will like they'll, they'll understand that those channels are meant to do that. And they'll understand to think that, okay, 
Is this channel reaching for another video for clicks? Or are the things they're saying in this video actually factual? It goes back to the credibility thing I was saying. Uh, people will also keep that in mind if they're smart as they watch channels like that. So don't worry, don't worry. We're on the lookout, okay? Us viewers, we're not just brain dead following sheep, okay? You wish you had that with your channel being as big as it was, but the evidence was so high, there wasn't that many sheep at all that was just going to follow you no matter what. But on the bright side, there is 891 that are in here. Oh, nope, 700. Wait, maybe it was 700 when I first got in this thing. There's 700, so that's good. If Free. you look on YouTube or any social media about this grooming issue where the abusers who did the grooming, the abusers <coughs> were... Uh, purposefully and maliciously inappropriate, like there, etc. Please tell me which one of these videos do not have my name on it. Go ahead, look it up right now. Which ones? Which ones don't have your name on it? It's hard to, for them to not have your name on it when they're in your server, right? Because it's gonna be Glitchtail community, so it's gonna say Glitchtail, right? The Senate calls Veer's confrontation. Doesn't have Camilla's name on it. Uh, Artie was in there. Artie Chan. Is that their name? I don't know how to say their name, bro. Is it Ari? Is it like I saw right there? That junk ain't gonna pop up, huh? Let's put Artie Chan drama. No? Freak, bro. How the freak do you do that? Sorry, man. I don't, I'm don't. i not good with names. I can't really remember too much. That does have Camilla on it. Okay. I saw one so far. Had a four. One out of four? I mean, that's not bad, considering it happened in their community. You know. Anyways. Don't have my name on anymore. it. So far, I have never seen <coughs> a title that did not have my name. That's because it gets you to click it. And to make it better, these people go out of their way to draw a cringe-worthy thumbnail with me looking evil behind the shadows to sell it even more. Very ob- Hey, Peaches, I'm sorry. That was funny, dog. Peaches, I'm sorry. That was funny, dog. I'm sorry. Please don't come at me, bro. Pe Peaches, don't come at me, bro. Please don't come at me, bro. Don't, don't disrespect me, bro. Please, bro. I feel like Peaches could roast the heck out of me, dog. Just on some basic stuff. Just on the simplest thing I freaking... Like, just on my reaction. Just just something. Just anything. I feel like Peaches could just roast me on, bro. Don't roast me, bro. I'm sorry. That was funny, bro. That joke was funny, bro. I'm sorry, Peaches, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Please don't roast me, dog. Please, bro. Some people like, your hair this morning? Atrocious. I had better hair. And I didn't do my hair in like five days. I don't know, bro. Yeah. All right, look. I don't... Something sassy, dude. Something sassy. Anyways, let's continue. The thumbnail. And to make it better, these people go out of their way to draw a cringe-worthy thumbnail with me looking evil behind the shadows to sell it even more. <laughs> Very objective, you guys. Really show you want to do right by the victims. Everyone. <clears throat> Alright, anyways, though. On a serious note, I think the thumbnail looks good. I like the thumbnail. Looks a good dog. Looks Focuses good. on the public face in the front line. As if that's gonna help freaking anyone. Why not attack the abusers? Why not add their names in, in your videos, right? Why, why not try to attack them? They're the ones who deserved a, a police report. If you're the leader of a server that they found everyone from, they're gonna put you in there, bro. Like, you're gonna be there if you're the owner, right? right. They're the ones who deserve all the insults and absolutely, most definitely, all the videos. But no. Like, it could have been like, let's say I was a freaking demented, just careless person, you know? And then I, and something happened in my server and it wasn't me and exactly, it was someone else. I mean, they'd have, they'd be like, divine server, like the divine hall. And they'd have me there because it's my server, right? And it happened there. Simple as that. No. Again, you go for the low-hanging fruit of big YouTuber equals bad. 
And good lord, it's easy. When someone says a crime happened, they're not just like, a crime happened at this school. They say the state too, so you have more of a broader understanding of where it happened, you know? To fool people with a narrative. This is not a black and white situation. It isn't a two-dimensional argument. If you think it is as simple as pointing fingers to one person and call it a day, I'm sorry, you're wrong. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's certainly not. Nothing is in life, right? But, I mean, we've seen enough. I've seen enough. Correction. <laughs> that water was good, wasn't it? <laughs> that water was mad good, bro. When you drink something, you have that reaction, bro. I know that jug was good. You're wrong. That chunk was good. <laughs> yeah, it took me a lo uh, longer than it should have to act. I'm not here to downplay my inaction. I know mm. that. I've said mm. it time and time again, <clears throat> the same thing. But how did people respond? Wow, your apology sucks. You're not sorry. You're playing the victim. And I went ahead and gave in to their demands and deleted it. And I made a different one, which was met with the same damn thing. Wow, you're a liar. You're disgusting. I went as far as to make a video trying to explain my point to you. Because written apologies weren't working. They all sucked, apparently. Uh, mind you, I did not name this video an apology because it wasn't one. Yeah, this ain't an apology. I know you're going at people, dog. I can feel the intensity. The apology I made regarding what happened in the Discord server is still to this day in my community tab all those years ago. Mm. But guess what? People told me. Oh wait, it's only in the community. I thought you would have kept the video up. Oh, who's gonna find that? You gotta keep it the video up, dog. It's gotta be a video. That other YouTubers <coughs> picked this video that I made and slapped the word apology on it, and went as far as to say that I took advantage of mourning for a loved one to victimize myself. To all of you who did that, you really are the lowest of the low. How miserable do you have to be to always assume the worst on someone you've never met on your life? And dehumanize them for clout. I can't speak exactly for who she's talking to, but for a broad claim, I'm gonna say it's a broad claim. Doesn't hold much weight, all right? Is that even when something bad's happening in life? It was over the span of years, was it not, where this stuff was happening, and Camilla didn't say anything. And yes, it can take years to grieve, but within those years, there's no way you're going 365 days without looking at your phone to see what the heck is going on. Like it's 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 at it's like it's when someone's it's it's I know it's when someone is having a bad day and they see something in front of them that they don't like and instead of dealing it with it in a very smart way they just directly get to the solution of what they want of the point they want to come across right if someone's like doing their job wrong or something and you just got or they're doing something wrong and you're you're mad, you know, you're upset, depressed, whatever it is, you're going to run by them and you're going to be like, you're going to say it probably in the rudest way possible for them to stop doing what they're doing or to wrap it up or whatever, whatever's going on, right? You're going to say it in the rudest way possible. You're not just going to see it and walk by it, comment on it like, ha ah, LMAO, and then walk by it because they were still commenting throughout these years from stuff I saw in the past, if I'm remembering correctly. You're not just going to see it, be like, ha ha, LOL, blah, 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 yada, yada, and then just walk by it. If you see something wrong, you're gonna be like, you're gonna, you're gonna lash out on them, right? That's what people lash out, right? Especially after so many days, there's no way it was just every day for that long. You were just like LMAO and actively participating in conversation, right? There's no way. There's no way. Absolutely disgusting. And again, I'll repeat it for the idiots who are still whining about my apology not not being there. I already did. I apologize not only in public but in private as well with those who deserved an apology. Because from all of you watching these videos, from reading or getting this issue uh, and, you know, be present as an spectator, let's be real, you don't deserve an apology for being groomed. You deserve one for me not taking action sooner. Yes, which I did years ago. So why are we at Yeah, don't get it twisted, Camilla. I'm not here because I want you to apologize to, for me. We're here because we want you to apologize to the other people and uh, for things you did, right? That's why we're here. We're watching, right? You don't owe me anything. I don't give a freak about what you give me, dog. I really don't. I don't. I'm here to watch to see what happens. I'm a spectator, dog. That's all it is. Acting like I never did. 
Did the videos mention it? Did the threats point that out? Does an apology have a goddamn expiration date, which makes it invalid after a certain amount of years? No. Nah. Check out Logan Paul. That man apologized for some of the most heinous things. And how did it work? I'm pretty sure, from what I, well, at least I know from the forest, is he genuinely apologized for literally everything and took all the blame. And then look what happened. He rose back up to fame. This man got even higher and higher and higher and higher. And then he scammed people and he apologized for literally everything. But I think he apologized for literally everything and then didn't give them their money back. But you see the formula. You should want the Logan Paul formula. Do I have to get on my knees, head on the ground, and apologize every month? You just gotta talk about your continuous lap of judgment. Our last of judgment. Laps of judgment. Hell no. Piss off. You're not. Okay, never mind. Don't do it with the Logan Paul strat. All right, sorry. I'm a pope that I need to confess my sins to every Sunday. All right, sorry. I'm I bad. learned from I was Twitter just suggesting it. That you cannot reason with a person out of a position they did not reason themselves in Twitter in the first place. <clears throat> I don't know what the freak you just said. Sorry, that was too big IQ for me, dog. Seeing so many things out of context, I want to say that in my family, at least here, we do a lot of sarcasm and irony-based humor. For example, I thought it was irony uh, for... I thought irony was for smart people, you know? And it was wrong of me to assume others would understand such things. Like when I spoke about... Oh, let's see how this person destroys, destroys the galaxy with the power of their pee, pee That's a joke. That's me being ironic. But no, let's take it seriously for whatever reason. It'll look good on the... It doesn't matter if it's ironic. Now you're talking you're giving a freaking dingling joke. But then if I say that, they're going to say, I didn't know there was a kid. And then I'll say, why don't you make sure? <laughs> it's not my job, it's not my responsibility. You know majority of your audience is kids. It was a group chat. If you enter a group chat, you should probably ask if anyone's a kid in here. But also, I guess I can kind of be like, eh, okay. Alright, eh, eh, maybe. Maybe. The thread. And talking about unreasonable. Remember at the beginning I said I wanted to mention someone? that blatantly lied, bringing up something nothing to do with this issue when everything was happening. Well, here it goes. Disclaimer, I'm pausing a lot and yapping, and I know. Known as Jackie, all right? First, I'm gonna start by saying I have absolutely no ill against her. She's an incredible artist, a talented no. animator, and I legitimately no. wish for her and her husband to be happy and succeed in what they want. No. I believe in something no. called karma. Yeah. When all this issue about people trying to connect me to groomers started, when I was the press AF and everyone bought a ticket for the Cami Bad show, you, Dial, went ahead for the backstab on Twitter and made this thread about me being a bully to you. Remember, I'm pretty sure the audience remembers years ago uh, on Tumblr especially, when we both took part in some banter against each other throwing insults left and right uh, to you, you to me. I think my Chilean comrades would understand us. My Chilean comrades. Are you guys claiming them? Are you guys claiming Camilla? Friends usually just insult each other, you know, in good faith. Yeah, but there's a point where it gets a little overboard, dog. If it's every day, and it's non-stop on, about a certain topic, that's just bullying, and you're just using the excuse that you're, they're your friend. And I'm sure if things go south, you're not going to have their back. Um, if you trust the other person, of course. Uh, moreover, if you don't like to, to take... It's like an abusive relationship, you feel me? Toxic relationship at that point. It, it, goes, it goes to that Party point. to that then don't, or even better, how about, how about you voice your concern? How about you say, hey, this actually doesn't feel right, can we stop doing that? Of course I would have stopped if it made you feel bad. Not only you you never uh, told me that, you kept <coughs> doing jokes, showing absolutely no sights of discomfort. 
if anything, it seemed mm. like the both of us were enjoying it. Did you want me to mm. freaking read your mm. mind mm. to know? <laughs> when I was beating you in that freaking alley, you didn't tell me to stop. You were just crying. <laughs> I saw you smiling too. You didn't tell me to stop beating you up in that alley, gosh dang it. I, I, I thought we were both having fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that you didn't like it? You didn't say gosh dang thing, so I thought, I thought it was alright. <laughs> no. Instead, you waited a few years. But better later than ever, right? You came to my house. You just said that you didn't have any ill will against Jackie or Jael, and now you're just going at them. Yo, Camilla's on one this one, bruh. They're aggressive right now. Personally, we even have a witness that was there. And you finally made me aware of your feelings. That you didn't like this banter of ours that we had, and that it made you feel bad. What did I do? I apologized first. I promised to never put you in that situation again, and I asked why didn't you say so before? We were friends, right? Uh, if something bothered you, I expected you to tell me, but whatever. I was glad you did anyways. I was happy for you for being brave to speak out about something that was bothering you this? for a while. Embrace we had there, promising to you to never do something like that again, and begging you to let me know if any of my behavior not you so I could correct it. I know you were very sensitive, as to not, and as to not stress you, I didn't DM you or talk to, to you about it afterwards. Figured if you wanted to tell me something, you would. So, if we did that, what the actual have happened? In your threat, you accused me of basically forcing you to partake into the insults fight, and that you never liked it and it bullied you or whatever. Freaking what, Jael? Did we not talk about it out? Did we not quite literally hug it out after talking about it thoroughly? Are you gonna deny we mm. that? In my house, with someone we know that saw it happen too? Why didn't you mention that? Didn't you just say that we, as adults, talked about it and, you know, stored it out? No, instead, you wait until everyone started making videos and posts about me to do this threat of yours. Not until everyone was so convinced I was a bad person that me being a bully was probably true. Why would you be lying, right? What a, what a low blow. Why not talk to me? If something was still bothering you, we had our DMs. We could. Mmm. Mmm. When Camilla puts it like that, it is kind of sussy baka, isn't it? It is kind of sussy baka, isn't it? They could DM them. They could have. It is kind of sussy baka. But you know what that was? That was Giles saying that everyone was like going at Camilla. And they were like, dang, Camilla really is a bad person, huh? Let me give my story on it. And so they did that. But I've talked about how we did. If you guys want to actually before. hear what happened, watch the original video, dog. When I was time tuning it, if you couldn't tell what's happening, I mean, you could like 0.5 the speed. But I guess you wanted people to feel sorry for you. Maybe you just want. I know a lot of you guys probably don't even care about what's said in this video. You just want to see my reaction to someone talking. <laughs> it's like you're probably not gonna care to watch that your video. <laughs> to add the fuel to the fire and get even more people to believe things about me that I'm not. You blocked me on Twitter first, and then you made your post. I didn't even know you did oh, your thread until I started to get freaking insults like and death water, threats though. for hurting poor defenseless Jackie's feelings, who was bullied to no end by a, a evil Camilla. Guess the Hogan apologies never happened. Dang, Why man. mention any attempt I did at making you feel better? Why mention how good of a time we had watching movies? Yeah, playing games, friends. sleeping under the same room, brainstorming about other projects, supporting each other's art. Nah, this thing's never happened according to you. It's always been a one-sided bullying. You know what's funny is I know someone that's done that with someone, and um, it was one of these relationships where they constantly just degrade the other guy, and you know they didn't end up getting in fights because of it. I knew people like this, and um, funny enough, they both spiraled together. Uh, cause they stay together, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, the toxic relationships only re breed more toxicity and both of them just spiraled as human beings, uh, together with their toxicness, you know? So I actually knew people like this, so I'm glad y'all got out of that cause if you stay in that type of thing, you only continue to become worse and worse of a person. It's very interesting to see that happen. It, it was making you feel bad, sure, but tell me. It's true when they say that betrayal hurts because it doesn't come from your enemies. When it comes from people you thought were friends, it's when it really stings. I really hope your under this project does well. I hope your future projects do well. I was gonna say I was open to talk about it, but I think I'm done trying to reason with fake friends. I legitimately hope that I am the first and the last person you do to do this to. I hope you learn to speak to people mm. when something makes you uncomfortable and talk mm. about how it should be. Twitter's not gonna be there to be your shoulder to cry on your whole life. I really hope you succeed in anything you set your mind to. Sadly, this is where I say goodbye to you. I was deeply hurt by this stunt of yours, more than you imagine. But mm. you didn't care about that when you posted what you said. I'm just disappointed. I'm still willing to pursue legal action nationally and internationally, but that's on, on my own private time. Well, crap. That was a long video. 
unless people accuse me of being the freaking incarnation of the Antichrist, I don't think I'll ever make a video about this again. Uh, my channel is for animation, art, and drawings. I'm not willing to make it a circus like other people. Um, also, just like before, I'm not gonna watch a damn thing while other people do or say about. Why did I just look at y'all like I was trying to look at chat? Like y'all was chatting over here. What the heck was that? I know what I did. I know what I did not do. I know that I apologized, and I know that the changes I made as a person to better myself. I'm not gonna listen to some wench using a dumb avatar and speak about me as if they knew who I was and the intentions I had, talking about X and Y. Feel free to waste your time trying to convince people of, of, being, of me being something I'm not today. I'll go work on my animations and my big projects coming up. If anyone wants to keep harassing me about this, screw you, I'll block you, and move on with my life. Hopefully you find one for yourself someday. Now, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to watch mm. this. So I'll take the chance to promote a charity stream I'm going to be doing tomorrow. You may or may not know in my country, Chile, there's currently going a big... Bringing up a charity in a video like this? It's a powerful move. Big catastrophe going on. Wildfires have taken over entire villages, <clears throat> brought them. Mm, that's a power play. Oh my gosh, Camilla just pulled a power play on that written document. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Camilla just did a Logan Paul type of power play in an apology. <sighs> that was strong, y'all. Some of y'all just right now was like, hold up, maybe Camilla ain't bad. Yo, that was a power play, Camilla. It's a power play. Down to just ashes. People have died inside with their house. Because now I gotta say shout out to the charity, you feel me? This is for not being able to... What if the charity's like, we don't claim you, dog? Sorry, Camilla. Escape the flames. Dang, and some bro. even died inside their cars. Stuck in a traffic jam. Mm. Not being able to mm. run anywhere. It's by far the worst and most devastating fighter we've ever faced as a country. And I know that even if it's a grain of sand, I want to... I want to do everything I can with what I have to help. I no cap though. Power play to bring up the charity. I'll move to continue reading from the script after you're talking about helping the charity. I know someone personally that lost their house, all of their belongings. They just run. You got to look at the camera, Monkey Mella, because it looks like you're just reading what you read down, which words don't have as much emotion as if you just looked at us and said that junk. Nope. This is what the charity is, and I am actually very passionate. I don't have to look at a script to read about how passionate I am. I know this person, this and that, right? Power play did not execute that too well, but... ...and away with the clothes they had and nothing else. Um, They came back to their house, total destruction. Everything was... Maybe they forgot some of the stuff that happened, though. Lost. All the money I can collect uh, will be donated... She's trying to look at the camera, but she can't because she can't. She needs to read this. To thing. him and their family, I will post proof of every single one. And I'm also going to put somewhere here um, the numbers and donations to the firefighters or the um, Techo Foundation, which uh, also dedicates themselves to help people in need that need houses. Oh, this... uh, if you're Chilean, it's even easier because you can use your own bank account to donate directly to any um, charity of your choosing. This is getting a lot of I'll likes. Where's the, the dislikes ain't moving? The donations, making it through the families indeed. Oh wait, you can't see dislikes on YouTube anymore. Is it because of that add-on I had? And that's about it. I you do better be on my cheeks right now, dog. How can you see those? I, I'm using we'll like, you know. See you in the next video. Hopefully it's on Google Chrome, I'm man. It's official. One. I think it, you're allowed to have it. All right, let's refresh and see what the dislikes look like. Hello, everybody. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, guys, so that's it for the video today. Um, My thoughts still stand as they are, bro. Um, And let's not get it twisted. My opinion on Camilla has always been that they've just, at the very least, been extremely careless about the stuff that has happened. Obviously, we see they saw the texts that were sent. They were aware of some things and were just careless and just trying to fly by everything, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to stay in their ignorance as much as they could, even though they were mad old and they should have been more responsible, but they weren't responsible at all. Whether they can uh, participate in the jokes and stuff, I mean, it kind of looked like they was laughing at them, like being the audience member in the background, just agging it on kind of just by laughing in default. Um, I can't remember too much of the stuff that happened. This is why I said this wouldn't be a report video. I've already gave him my final thoughts in those videos. But yeah, it looks like um, they try to 
they really didn't try to be a bystander. I mean, they was laughing at stuff and saying, "Did you know this person likes this?" Blah blah blah. Like they was they was active. You feel me? But um, yeah, I'm not gonna react to the videos. Obviously, still even now, I just those that watch this far, I'll give you a treat. I'll give you a present. Okay. Those glitch tell videos that the reactions I made, I'm gonna keep those up because I didn't know at the time. And you will know why I'm going to keep them up. I'm going to make every one of those videos in screen. You know where a video pops up, it says you can click this to watch this next. I'm going to make everything on that in screen go right back to the coverage video I reacted to on Camilla. So people will be like, oh my God, time to watch Glitch Tale. I'm going to see a reaction to it. I don't know about the drama at all. So they'll watch our reaction. And if Camilla's watching this, GG, those videos are getting taken down. Um, but they said they want to watch this, so Camilla, stick to your word and say you're not going to watch this and don't watch me right now. Watch someone send this clip to Camilla. I got him now. Get him, Camilla. Um, but anyways, I'm going to have every one of those videos that I reacted to of Glitch Toe, I'm going to have the end screen go directly to my reaction of the video report on Camilla and what happened. So everyone that's like, let's go watch some Glitch Toe reactions. I don't know what's happening in the drama. They're going to see that and be like, oh my gosh, hold up, drama, what is this? They're going to see my video on it. They're going to understand. Okay, boom. We can watch Devon Lee's reactions. But after that, stay away from Camilla, please. Okay. Um, well, it's up to you guys, actually. It's up to you guys. People can change. And uh, not that there's any light in this situation when it comes to Camilla's side. But if there was a light for Camilla, if we're looking if we're Camilla and we want things to get better, it looks like Camilla's taking the route as to where they're blocking out everything that happened. You guys say Camilla runs away a lot when you guys post on Twitter. I see it. Um, so essentially, I guess that's what they're kind of doing right here is they're going to block out everything that has happened in the past and as a person try to change and not worry about that stuff anymore. Um, that looks like what they're trying to do. So eventually in due time, give it three, four, five years, uh, Camilla will be cleansed of this. Not really cleansed. Like that junk still happened. You feel me? But like audience wise, internet wise, Camilla can start to grow again and people will forget and not really care too much and understand that Camilla has changed by this point, whether they wanted to apologize actually and completely or not, they will have changed as a person in about five years from now, I do believe. So that's what it looks like is gonna happen with Camilla doing this route of blocking everyone out and just not gonna acknowledge the situation anymore and start their, as they said, bandwagon. Um, that's what's gonna happen naturally in five years. So GG five years because of camilla's tactic they're doing here it's going to work and maybe even less amount of years if camilla continues to keep doing charity streams and charity things um it will be less amount of years that camilla will be able to recover from this that's me thinking statistically and stuff mentally i could be wrong let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below man uh, try to keep it civil don't get too insane or talk too much trash i know there's a lot of trash talk on twitter about people like really bullying and getting into camilla and i can't say anything about the people that have been a victim of camilla stuff um and what happened in the gtc server i can't say anything about you guys making your jokes and whatever it is i feel like you guys are granted that opportunity but for, for my comment section, guys, please don't get too insane with, you know, talking trash and whatnot. Let's try to keep it somewhat civil. That's how I prefer things. Um, if it's a little, like, jest or whatever, whatever, you know, you saw how I reacted to the video. If it's on that level, whatever. Feel free. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Those who watch this video, I understand that you purely just cared about what I said, my reactions. I hope you enjoyed. To the victims, once again. Freak, I'm about to throw up. Sorry. I had chocolate milk, but it's lactose-free. But it's like my body was like, nah, bro, that wasn't lactose-free. It was, bro. Chill out. Like, dang. To those who are watching this, like, I already explained my... I've seen this stuff happen. Um, or I've seen this whole sequence of Camilla doing things already, so it doesn't surprise me. But I just want a quick reminder that uh, to the victims, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my camera turned off. Uh, You know, sorry you had to go through this. I can't really say this like too sincerely. I, I, my brain is so dead. Um, my apologies. Um, oh, here it goes. Okay. I remember what I was about to say. Sorry to the victims, right? Uh, that had to go through this. If I said anything that offended you guys during this reaction, I apologize. I must have not made it clear that, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, what, I, what I was meaning to say. Uh, but yeah. Sorry you guys had to go through this. And um, 
Dang, I feel like I've said everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've made so many videos on this. Well, I've only made like three videos, but I feel like I've said everything. Now I'm getting hot because I can't think of what else I need to say. I feel like there's something I need to say and I'm forgetting what it was. We've been recording for almost two hours. What was I going to say? Freak, bruh. I don't know, bruh. Love y'all. Hope y'all recover, man. And everyone who watched the video, appreciate you, man. I hope you guys can look at this from an unbiased perspective. And if you do so, you'll clearly see, you know, Camilla's negligence. And, um... As I have. By the way, this whole video, even though I was nonchalant and I said I already made up my mind, I was still looking at it from an unbiased pos position. Whatever I was saying, I was still looking at it, seeing if I could see any openings uh, for Camilla to get some type of light. And I, I did see some of them, right? And I pointed those out. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. It's too strong. The evidence is too strong. And yeah, that's it. Okay, done yapping, finally. A yapping outro? Needed. It was a yapping video after all. See you guys later, man. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all. And, um... You guys should most likely probably go donate to that charity, too. Let's not disregard the charity. That charity, help them out, of course. Uh, make sure you do research on charities, though. Some of them aren't real, I don't think. Uh, but that's just from what I've heard before. I've never really interacted with charities before. I've been pretty broke myself. So uh, I don't. I haven't really thought about doing that. But once I get enough revenue and money and get high enough to where I can start thinking about giving money to charities and not just personal people in my family that I know need it as well, we're definitely going to do charities as well. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, and then I'll look more into the charities and stuff like that. So I can't speak to on too much. But from what it seems so far, definitely go check out that charity. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Keep it divine. Have a good day or night. And peace. Was right when Nick and, and, and Penelope said something. But like, I, I know the cool time is crazy. But I'm finally not busy that I can write you guys another tweet longer. Years going by, bro. Years. Years.